You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. It's International Week! Guys, this video looked very difficult, and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to find it. But here we are, so I guess it all worked out. So what can we see? The video opens with this person showing a Find Me sign. And guys, remember, this is always an option if you do not wish to appear on camera. Next, they lower the sign and raise the camera, and it was almost game over right there, because we can see this GPS inside of the car. But guys, I looked at it for a really long time, and I don't think you can really get anything useful off of this GPS. It's too blurry, and the intersection that we can see isn't very distinctive, so it didn't really figure into my search. We can see some signs across the street here. I'll come back to those in a moment. We can also see that this house across the street has a number 24 on it. We can see this snowy hill that has like a mast or tower or something on it. Then they show us a view to the left of the car, and we can see the side mirror. In the reflection of that mirror, we can see the building that is behind the car, and it has a lighted sign. When we flip the video around, we can see that that sign appears to say Joker. Okay, so those signs across the street and the Joker sign tell us that this is Norway. The Sonic Trete sign is telling us that the speed limit here is 30 kilometers per hour. And the other sign says that this is a no parking zone. And the fact that this is Norway tells us that the sign that I would read as Joker is probably more correctly pronounced Joker. That is a chain of grocery stores and convenience stores in Norway. According to Wikipedia, they have over 450 locations, so a brute force search was not going to be a good idea here. I wondered if we could use the fact that we have a partial address for the house across the street, just a number really, to see if we could narrow down the locations. I figured maybe I could look for Joker locations that were close to houses that were number 24. How close? Well, I don't know. In the video, it looks like not too far. It's just across the street. So I figured maybe like 50 meters. That's like 164 feet. So I tried that and I quickly got a list of just about a dozen locations where we had a Joker store within 50 meters of a house number 24. And all those locations were in the southern part of Norway. But guys, I checked all of them and none of them were right. I figured a lot of things could have gone wrong here. It could be that this store was just not in the OpenStreetMap database, or maybe the house was not tagged with the appropriate house number. It's hard to know why that failed. So that was kind of a bummer, and I was about to move on and try different approaches to finding this place. But it occurred to me that maybe the distance was just wrong. Like, I'm pretty good at estimating distances in videos like this, probably because I do it all the time. But I always pick very round numbers, like 50 meters or 100 meters, and that usually works okay, but I'm sure that there are times when the thing I'm looking for is just outside of that range. Like in this case, if the house was 53 meters away, my query wouldn't have matched. So before I moved on to other approaches, I decided to try a slightly greater distance. I figured I'd try 75 meters. That's about 250 feet. So I tried that query again, and this time I got way more results, like three times as many. Of course, that result set also included the ones that I had previously checked that were within 50 meters. So I tweaked the query just a bit to only focus on the ones that were more than 50 meters away from a Yoker store, but within 75 meters. And then once again, I got to work checking each of those locations. And when I got to the sixth one in the list, well, Guys, that was it. You were here, parked outside the Joker store in Harstad, Norway. I used Google Street View to confirm, but it's worth noting that the number 24 that we saw in the video is not visible in the Street View. And that's because this house looks a bit different. The photo is from 2019, and it looks like there was an addition put on at some point between 2019 and when this video was recorded. And that addition is where the number 24 appears. So thank you to the person who owned the house and so helpfully put that number there for me to see. And of course, I also got a photo of the Yoker store. Okay, it's time to check which previous location is closest to this one. And this time it was in season one, episode 43 in Kemenma, Finland. That's about 479 kilometers or 297 miles away from this place. Also, this location now has the distinction of being the northernmost location that I have found. Kemenma was previously the farthest north. Also, this is the first time I've located somebody in Norway, but it won't be the last. You know who you are. And that brings the number of countries in which I have found people so far to 41. Check out the map of all the places I've found for you guys so far. And while you're there, maybe go check out my store if you're into that sort of thing. And if anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that, on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.